Welcome back to the Simply Smarter Podcast. Hi, Caleb. Hey, Jill. How are you today? I'm just dandy. Thanksgiving is just right around the corner. Seriously. I mean, days. two days. Yeah. And you mentioned it earlier. This creeps me out. We are one month away from Christmas Eve. Yes. Yikes. Kind of nuts. How did that happen? Well, COVID. <laughs> <laughs> that kind of explains everything, right? Yeah. I mean, there was just this big pause button that felt like it was taking forever. But in actuality, when we got done to like, we're actually getting to August, we're like, we're, I'm sorry, where did Wait, the year what? go? <laughs> I mean, honestly, like, you know, I've done this multiple times. Like, I'm ready for summer. Yeah. Oh, wait, nope. It's almost it's almost Thanksgiving and well, almost Christmas. That's what you said earlier today. You were like, is it time for summer yet? I keep thinking it in my head. No, it's really. It's really annoying. <laughs> I am so thrown off this yeah. year. It, I think everyone is. Everyone here is. But we do have some things to look forward to at the end so of the true. year here. So Thanksgiving is coming up. We also have. Of December 12th ACT. Yeah, coming up really quickly. Just right two and a half the weeks corner. out. Man. Yeah. Are you ready? Are your students ready? I think so. I only have a handful personally mm-hmm. right now. I have a lot more students for February and I have a GRE student coming up. Nice. I'm real excited about all that. Yeah. But my December students, it, we're kind of, it's crunch time now, mm-hmm. right? It is. So we've, we've had to make that transition. And it's funny because again, I don't feel like it should be time to making to make a, a, a tutoring transition and making sure we're having final plans. But yeah. here we are almost in December. Here we go. Yeah. And just as a reminder, we do host office hours um, twice a week. So in Leawood, yep. uh, Tuesday nights from 7 to 830 and then yep. admission on Saturdays from is it 11 to 1230? That's 11 it. You nailed 1230. it. So yep. two and opportunities. A, and there's always a tutor there to yep. answer additional questions and help students kind of better better understand the strategies and topics and work through more problems and time drills and all sorts of good things. Yeah, really good resource yeah, absolutely. for students. Awesome. Looking forward to that. And then what else do we have in December? Just finals for high schoolers? Some. <laughs> I mean, Not all of them? no, no. Did, did you know that it, in particular, Blue Valley actually pushed all of their their finals until after the new year? Really? They're into January. Yeah. I don't think I like that. That's kind of crazy. Don't like it. I would not like that as a student. No, I want to be able to go into winter break and just don't think about school. Yeah, no responsibility. <laughs> well, I always did work, but but other you're than kind that, of a nerd. No, like as a oh. job. Oh, <laughs> we as said a, a job. job. <laughs> right, right, right. I thought you meant schoolwork, even no. though you didn't have any assigned. No, you're the nerd in I this am. scenario. <laughs> Did you know that when we went on family vacations as a kid, we'd you be traveling the across book? the country? <laughs> Worse, maybe. Little little eight year old Caleb had <laughs> any book that he was reading. He then oh had to God. write a book report on. <laughs> Did you do that in the to summer. yourself? No. Your mom. Yeah, my mom. Well, that's nice of her. That was look that how was smart nice. you are, though. I know. I know. It's, hey, it's a really good thing. I was a weird kid. I'm probably still weird. All my kids but... want to do is just watch uh, gamers. Oh on yeah. YouTube. Oh yeah. That's it's big. So ridiculous. Yeah. Interesting. I'm like, I, I got. Get it. I have to be honest. I had I had a half day yesterday, and I got sucked into this. This uh, TikTok slash Instagram oh, no. <laughs> short videos of this guy like mixing paint and doing all these custom colors. Oh. It was really, really interesting. And did you paint something afterwards? No, I did not. Oh, I just wasted thirty minutes of my life watching those videos. Yeah, it's a time sucker sometimes. Yeah, it can be very useful, but so it goes. Oftentimes, it's not. <laughs> right. Uh, the world we're in. So. So yes, high school finals yeah. are coming up for a lot of students, and then uh, for a lot of others, it'll be in January. Interesting. So, okay. Well, good luck to all the high crunch schoolers. Crunch time for that, too. Absolutely. And then, have you set your goals for 2021 yet, or is it too early? <laughs> <laughs> After my 2020 goals, personal goals have all been shattered, <laughs> and not in a good way. Oh, um, I'm, I'm going to hold off for a little bit. Yeah. I'm just going to see how the rest of November and December play out mm-hmm. and go from there. I like it. There's some optimi- There's things to be optimistic about, yeah. right? Yeah. I mean, Uh I I don't think we plan on talking about this, but like all the, all the different, like the Moderna, um, uh, what's the word? Thank you. Yes. That's the word I'm looking for. Vaccines, all those kinds of things. Like those are 
That's really encouraging. Yeah, it is. I, I think, I think you know, as we kind of turn the corner, wrap up 2020, looking yeah. to 2021, there are some, there's some hope. There's things to look forward to, right? right. Um, and especially for high schoolers, I, I, it's such a fun just section of, of your life, right? Yeah. I mean, high school is awesome. You create a lot of good friends and good memories and learn so much and, and you have a lot to look forward to. So, um, yeah, if you haven't started setting your goals, Maybe just dig in a little bit. Yeah. Just maybe start, self- start thinking about it. Some self reflection. Yeah, yeah, there was a lot of that in 2020. So just for better look at for that. <laughs> right. And then we can apply that to 2021, I guess. Uh, but what else? Uh, February 6th, that official test yeah. date is I think that is planning for, December. yeah, I think kind of looking into 2021, we start seeing some of these test dates that I think are going to be very, very, very popular this yes, year. Yes, I agree. Um, whether it's the national test dates on February 6th or April 17th, mm-hmm. or in Kansas, all public school students get to take it on February 23rd. Yeah. That's At least that's what a- we're being told still right that kind of a bonus i here's a little tidbit for for our students that are coming through we're, we're highly recommending that they go ahead even if they are public school students in the state of kansas we are recommending that they still register for the february 6th test take mm-hmm. it and then you have that backup on february yeah. 23rd yeah I don't know if you remember two two years ago, mm-hmm. our February of snow, where we had every Wednesday <laughs> off yeah. from school in the month of February because of snow. Um, I don't think we're going to have snow days anymore, but maybe right. we have COVID days Remote or something days. like that still. Right. right. So I, I, I think the national test date is... It's good to go ahead and sign up for that one, yeah. even if you're planning on taking it later in the month. Well, and we have a link on our website of just ACT school cancellations. Yeah, the site cancellations. The site cancellations. Mm-hmm. So there's a handful in the Kansas City area yeah. already for yeah. December. For, for those of you that are listening, some some key ones that are, that are actually already closed. Uh, I believe it's Shiny Mission... West. Oh man. <laughs> Maybe I haven't looked at this for the full week, so <laughs> check it out. But Scion, uh, I know definitely canceled. Uh, so th- there are probably UMKC is already canceled. So yep. there, are, there are maybe two or three that our students frequently test mm-hmm. at that have already canceled. Yeah. Just now I think ACT has kind of fixed a lot of their systems. So students are actually hearing. They should be getting emails immediately after their test sites canceled make instead sure you of check like your emails. Yeah. So make sure your student, especially if it's going to your student. Yes. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Can they just CC the parents sometimes? All the time? <laughs> All the time. <laughs> Every time, please. <laughs> that would make a lot more sense. Oh, uh, yeah. It would actually. Mm. Uh, yeah, it would make a lot of sense. <laughs> I think a lot of parents put their own email in for their student, knowing that they're going to be more on top of things. But I agree. I don't think that's always the case. Yeah. I put and I don't know if that I, I kind of like having students be responsible, but well, yeah. I know not all students are responsible. Yeah, it's time. It's time to start yeah. getting responsible. Fair I'm enough. sure they are in their Maybe you're just in their own ways, you know? <laughs> yeah, their own way. There we go. <laughs> That's but, adorable. Yeah, I know. Thank you. Thank you. But uh, speaking of being responsible, I think it's a great time for students to kind of set a timeline for 2021, 2022. Mm-hmm. You know, if they're sophomore juniors, uh, let's go ahead and create that timeline yeah. or roadmap, if you will. Exactly. Um, and kind of see what that looks like. What you're, And it kind of goes along with your goals, too. Right. If if you're if you're the parent of a junior right now, I think this is the time to make sh- making sure that you have a plan to get in for testing if you haven't already. Mm-hmm. Um, and we offer those free practice tests every Saturday, so you don't even have to uh, register for an official test. Right. We'll get your scores back to you much more quickly with way more detail. Yes, um, and it's going to be much more useful moving forward. Um, but even if your students are taking Algebra 2 this year, I, I think maybe early January would be mm-hmm. a great time to get in, uh, or even sometime in December, if, yeah. if the student has more free time during that time. Uh, I think that that would be the perfect time to come in and start the process. Absolutely. That's awesome. And then for for class of 2023, yeah, well, that, that seems, seems like weird a long to say. Time from now. <clears throat> I know. Uh, those students, uh, so current sophomores, they should probably begin thinking about taking the test. If they're taking Algebra 2 right now, go ahead and, going ahead and taking a practice test in March and April mm-hmm. and May, somewhere in that time frame, in order to get ready to focus on whichever test date makes the most sense for them. Right. And June and July are great test dates, by the way. Yeah. I mean, July is the most currently added one 
Yes. It's the newest. <laughs> yeah, it's the newest. It's the youngest. It's been there for, what, two years now? Yeah, this will be the third year. Third year, yeah. And, so. and to be honest, I was a skeptic. I know that, that brain drain or summer mm-hmm. knowledge decay or whatever you want to call it, that that is a very real thing. And I was pretty worried about that that first year. But yeah. data came back and scores were solid and yeah. we'll keep pushing it. Awesome. There's lots of things to look forward to, I sure. think. I think. Um, yeah, a, a lot of things that, you know, people have taken hits and gotten back up. And, you know, you have to keep on moving forward. Um, I I do feel for the high school and middle school students who, I mean, I I would say got, you know, kind of jerked around a little bit with in-person and and then virtual and hybrid and now back to remote. And um, just mentally, I think that's really hard for them, especially, you know, we're talking about, you know sixth, seventh, and eighth graders. That's really young to have to manage all of that. But I think a lot of them have stepped up and done well. Yeah. Um, but I just, I, I feel for them. <laughs> Me too. It's just hard. the mental health, right? It's like, so hard. Just making sure that they're taking care of themselves and knowing yeah. how to approach each day in a different way. Yeah. That can be, that can be really tricky and, for and adults, let exactly. alone for adolescents. <laughs> yeah. I think, you know, with the holidays coming up, there's lots to look forward to. But what does the holiday season look like this year? You know, maybe maybe not a lot of friends Maybe not the same as in previous yeah. years. Yeah. Yeah. We'll see. So hopefully the numbers don't spike up too much and um, we can kind of you know, do something that you love, find, find your hobby or go volunteer or do something that you're passionate about that you know, really comes from your heart. And I think if you do something like that, you're going to get your, your, you know, cup is going to get full, right? Yeah. Half, half full, not half empty. So yeah, you're exactly right. I mean, I think this is a time to kind of go back to reflect on the mm-hmm. year. Um, don't, don't dwell on it too much. Right. Um, but also start, just really start looking at toward the future. I yeah. think that's going to be important yeah, this time agreed. of year. I agree. And looking into the future, we have some exciting news. Uh, we've done some scholarships before in the past oh, yeah. um, that have been really successful. We like to do scholarships because it's usually private tutoring and the students really go up. Um, we had a student from a couple of years ago that went up seven points. Right. In five um, weeks. In five weeks and got into the School of Her Dreams in New York City. So that was very, very exciting. That was pretty awesome. Um, so we, we do. We like to do this. And there's one student that we're going to start working with, um, you know, that yeah, is from, from Washington a, High School. Yeah, and KCK. Uh, yeah, so we're excited about that yeah. for the February test. So that'll be, yeah, that's the plan right now. Yeah. It's going to be, it's going to be great. Yeah. Um, I've, I've heard wonderful things about him. Mm-hmm. Uh, the person that's nominated him is just can't say enough good things. <laughs> and it's, it's, I'm excited to get to meet him and Absolutely. see how this whole, whole process goes. Yeah. It's going to be good. So we have a couple other things up our sleeves for 2021. We can't quite say yet. Um, but if you're listening, you need to start thinking about students who deserve to get, you know, some ACT prep and who need that help and would no- not normally be able to achieve that without your assistance. So we are going to be having a scholarship winner for every test, every ACT test in 2021. Mm -hmm. Um, So usually that's going to be a course, either a standard course or an advanced course. Mm So just start thinking about that. Uh, If you know a student who is well-deserved, we would love to hear from you. You can go ahead and email us at marketing at getsmarterprep.com or go ahead and call us at an email, whatever you want to do, contact us somehow. (laughs) (laughs) Exactly. And I'm, I'm excited about this because we've, we've done the, the one scholarship each year, Mm -hmm around this time of year yeah, and it's worked. It's been fantastic. I've been mm-hmm. really excited about the improvements our students have seen, but now we're going to, we're, we're kind of expanding it yeah. and wanting to help students throughout the school year. And again, hopefully we can make an impact in half a dozen or a dozen students' I, lives yeah. and really, yeah. really kind of set them up uh, well for that, that next phase. Yes. Pretty cool. Yeah. I love it. Me I too. love it. See, it's always nice to end on a positive note, <laughs> just like we're doing for 2020. Yeah. Keep on saying, we're going to keep on <laughs> saying that. You should have seen her face, everyone. She was really trying to convince herself. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, I have news. What's your news? I got a kitten. You did get a you did get a kitten, didn't That's you? That's positive for, for your us. birthday. Yes, yes. Oh, so, so adorable. That's and what's what's your positive. kitten's name? Chester. Chester. Chester Hemsworth. So adorable. Yeah. My tell s- tell me why Hemsworth. 
Well, my middle guy, Sam, he wanted to name him Chris Hemsworth. <laughs> <laughs> of course, naturally. Thor is the most you know, strong Avenger. Right. Obviously. Naturally. Yeah, he's the strongest. Um, so <laughs> we wanted to name this little tiny kitten <laughs> Thor. Chris Hemsworth. And right. I was like, ah, maybe that's a good middle name. I like that it was Chris Hemsworth and not Thor. <laughs> I know. I don't, I don't know why. <laughs> it's, that's but fantastic. typically with my family, we have like a, a you know a three part name for mm, sure. our animals. So, yeah, Chester Hemsworth Purcell, the first, the first, the first. <laughs> Is there going to be a second? I don't know. No. A whole litter of seconds. Well, my mom had a German Shepherd dog named okay. Rizzo, and um, that one. What happened? That one died. That one died. Mm. And now we had another German Shepherd dog named Rizzo because it's just easier for my mom and dad's age to remember Rizzo the dog. Rizzo. Rizzo. They don't have to change the name and Mm. it's not confusing. Yeah, that's fair. So, yes, there may be two Chesters. All right. (laughs) It kind of made me think of when I was in fourth grade, I got a guinea pig. Uh Uh-huh. We had all sorts of random pets Don't those growing bite? up. Do they bite you? A little bit. Oh. Actually, in kindergarten, I got... The only time I ever got in trouble in elementary school, I got my name on the board in <laughs> kindergarten because a kid put a guinea pig on my lap that I didn't want, mm-hmm. and it was going to bite me or claw me or something, so I didn't like actually grab it, yeah. and it ran underneath the file cabinet, and oh. it was a hole to do. Well, that's not your Miss, fault. That's what I tried to tell Miss Trinkle. Oh, Miss Trinkle. She sounds like a kindergarten teacher, doesn't she? She does, yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Sure. Positive but, things. Positive things. in fourth grade, we got a guinea pig. And like three days later, we then had three guinea pigs oh, because we had no crazy. idea, but she was pregnant. And then oh. we had two more baby ones. It was, oh, man. it was a very weird Sunday morning. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, mom, hmm. mom, what, what just happened? Well, don't they have the talk in fourth grade? <laughs> Um, I think at mine the was end. primarily in fifth. Oh, okay. So. I had Jiminy Cricket videos. Oh, ooh, yikes! That was a weird, yeah, weird one. Hmm. Anyway, well, yeah, we're probably gonna get Chester fixed before. Oh, good call. Good call. I mean, it's a boy, but you know, yeah. there are other cats in the neighborhood. So sure, yeah, sure. We're just gonna. <laughs> what would Bar- What would Bob Barker do? Oh, I right? love him. Have your Have your pet spayed and neutered. Yeah. One of my favorite years and shows. Years. One of my favorite shows. So, okay, again, if you know any students, back on track, please. <laughs> back, back on, on track. track. Here we are. Any students who you think would be a great nominee for any of our scholarships, um, please let us know. Um, just a well deserved, very well rounded student. Um, yeah, doesn't, hardworking. Doesn't matter where they're from. Nope. Doesn't doesn't matter. We would just we just want to help. And and because of COVID, we have even more experience working remotely. We so do. there there may be some resources there as well. Mm-hmm. Um, so if if you know somebody that's very well deserving, that you know that they are hardworking, they want to get into college, they mm-hmm. want or need a scholarship in order to achieve that the, their goals. Those are the kinds of students that we want to work with and, yeah. and help them kind of realize that. Yeah, absolutely. So. All right. Well, thank you for listening. Um, If you haven't already, please subscribe and rate our Simply Smarter podcast. So have a happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Happy Thanksgiving. See you guys. High school can be tough. We'll help you navigate some of the areas you need help with, including the college preparation process by providing advice for families. Every student is different and has a unique path. That's why we created this podcast. Our innovative and intentional approach builds confidence in the individual student. Listen each week to find out how students can score better on college placement tests with techniques and methods that build confidence, beat test anxiety, and identify strengths within each student. You're listening to Simply Smarter with hosts Caleb and Jill. Check out our blog at GetSmarterPrep.com for more college prep-related topics.